Hello everyone, welcome to my uh, next video in this series. So on the last few videos, we went ahead and we added our Forda Manager to our topology. And we also went ahead and explored the GUI, both with the Forda Manager version and also with the Forty Analyzer. Now, uh, I was in the middle of adding Forty Gates in my last video, which I did not publish. And the reason why is because I was exploring 6.2. Okay, so it just came out. I thought maybe I'd take this opportunity to learn about 6.2 with you guys. I could not get the local FortiGate and the Forda Manager on 6.2 to join. Now, I read somewhere where it has to maybe do with some licensing issues, but I did test it on 6, and it does work. So I'm going to just start this off right out of the gate saying, if you guys are going to set up your NSC5 lab to, to practice, to play with, right, stick with 6.0 all right and that's probably the best thing anyways because that's what the exam is based off of is 6.0 so anyways i'm going to go ahead and go forward now also i'm a fortinet instructor and i teach the nsc5 classes live and online so obviously i'm not going to cover everything that's that's uh that the Ford manager can do that's what the cookbooks are for that's what documentation is for that's what the actual classes are for but I still want to be able to give you guys enough to be able to to play around with, to, to maybe get reminded of how they work, so on and so forth. So the last couple of demos just kind of stunk because we didn't have any Forty Gates to manage. So that's going to be the goal of this video. And I'm really just winging these things too. I haven't really decided where I'm going to go with it, but I at least should cover the basics. So uh, we're going to look at two different ways to get a local FortiGate and the remote FortiGate over here to be managed by our Fortum Manager. All right. Our first way is taking the local FortiGate and pointing it to the Fortum Manager because it is inside our trusted network. So the local FortiGate is acting as our edge device. And then at the second half of this video, we're going to reach out with the Fortum Manager and take over the remote FortiGate. And start managing it so um, let's go ahead and begin so all right <clears throat> so here we are we're at our local Windows machine and we have logged into the IP address of the Florida manager now I had to start over here so hopefully I duplicated it as much as possible so all right so here we are on our Florida manager and if we go to device manager you'll recognize that there is nothing there all right, just like when we're exploring the GUI. So because we can reach the Forda Manager from our internal network, I'm going to go ahead and point to the Forda Manager using the Forda OS on the Forda Gate itself. So I'm going to log in. Okay. And then uh, they did kind of move things around. <laughs> so in the older versions, we used to have to go to System Settings to do our central management. Now I believe they are buried in the uh, Security Fabric options. All right, so we're going to come over here to our settings, and one of them should be central management once the GUI loads up. So, all right, so there we are. We have a central management tab, so let's go ahead and click it. So there are a couple of different ways that we can do this, and the Forda Manager is going to be the one that we do. All right, so we're going to point to the IP address of the Forda Manager. All right, and it is 250 in our lab environment. And you'll see right away that you get a confirmation that it found the Forda Manager. See the free license version. Now that is nice. Older versions used to just say, we can't connect. And you're like, okay, that's great. Did it, did it find it? Well, here it's saying, hey, we found it. Okay. Uh, here's the IP address. Here's the serial number. So we're, we got a pretty strong confirmation that the Forda Manager has been found. So once that's done, we get kicked off because... In all intents and purposes, going forward, the FortiGate shouldn't really be managed through the FortiGate's GUI. Everything can be done through the Forda Manager and then some. So, but let's go ahead and take a look at what happened on the Forda Manager side. So let's click the Forda Manager. And as you can see, we actually have a one unregistered device. So once we click it, all right, you'll see one unregistered device. Okay, and here is the local FortiGate, the model number, the serial number, and the IP address. Now, 
once we bring this in, it's really the serial number that does the authentication between the FortiGate and the Forti Manager when it builds up the SSL tunnel. So uh, just something to keep in mind. Um, so if you ever change the serial number, you'll have to, you know, do some additional steps to reassign the 48 to a new serial number. Maybe I'll do a video on that later, but uh, it found it. So perfect. So let's go ahead and right click and add it. All right. Now you do need the password with at least super admin rights to set this up. All right. So it doesn't per se need to be the admin password, but it needs to be an administrator that has super user rights. So there we go. And local FortiGate is what we called it. It found it from the, uh, the host name, so we're going to hit OK. And now what it's doing is collecting all the information about that FortiGate and also provisioning it to be centrally managed by the Forti Manager. So, OK. I know it's not very exciting. So while, <laughs> while it's pulling it in, all right, and it, and it will eventually, uh, that is one way to do it, okay? So as you can see here, our tunnel from our local FortiGate is up, and also the config side of things, the, the system configuration settings and so on and so forth, that's going to be a different video, have been synchronized, and we'll definitely talk about what that means, okay? And then the host name, IP address, and what platform it is, and here it's a VM. Now, other you know other 48s that are physical will have the physical model there so also where it comes to the logging 48 it instantly recognized that the Forti manager was also a 40 analyzer so that's why you're gonna see it in two different places and we don't have any logging coming in and that's all that that red little dot means is that it doesn't see the flow of logs that's fine once again another video so but our goal here was to point the FortiGate to the Forti Manager. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do with our remote FortiGate. Now, our remote FortiGate over here, and I just dropped this uh, this box in my GNS3, so I believe it is a blank slate. So, um, I'll definitely double check that here in just a second. But we have a problem. I did not set up any virtual IP addresses on the FortiGate. All right. So in other words, I really can't point to the Forti Manager because it's protected behind the FortiGate. So I'm going to have to rely on the Forti Manager to reach out to the public IP address of that remote FortiGate, all right, to take control over it. And that's going to be the second way that we get a device joined to the Forti Manager. So I'm going to pretend like this is a remote location. And I sent them a FortiGate with just a static public IP address on it. And FortiGuard services, or, or um, sorry, Forti Manager uh, access on our WAN interface, and that's it. There's nothing else here. And the in the next video is coming up. We're going to do our, our policies, and I'll I'll explain how that all kind of works. But uh, I don't think I even did that. So <laughs> I'm going to come in here real quickly and uh, configure it. See, there's no password. Uh, so I'm going to do a git system status just to verify that the license was valid and also to make sure that's on the right 40 OS yeah 6.0 like I said I had problems with 6.2 licensing so um, but now we're gonna do a config sys interface and we're gonna edit port 4 port 4 is connected to our WAN port alright and if we do a show here uh, there's nothing there so let's set an IP address and if you guys have watched my other videos, uh, we just make believe that anything in the 10.200 space is going to be a public IP address. And we have to use a private one here and just play Peter Pan because, well, we're really connected to the Internet, so we can't just take public IP addresses. So um, we're going to pretend like that's a static public IP address. All right. Now, also, OK, uh, there's no kind of access there. And normally, you know what? We probably wouldn't want access uh, with ping. We probably wouldn't want access with management interfaces. But it is fully OK, in my humble opinion, to say, hey, let the special ports for the FortiGuard to reach out here and knock on the door and be able to set up that, that protection, that, that tunnel. So uh, to do that, we're going to set allow access 
to FGFM, the FortiGate FortiGuard Management. I don't know what that really stands for, but that should be it. That's all we should really need to be able to reach out there and talk to this device. Now, once again, because I did not set up DNAT or anything, this guy can't call home, even though that is an option. It's going to be a different video if I decide to do it. But here we're going to actually discover it from the, where's my Windows box, from the Forta Manager. So we're going to go to Get Device, we're going to go to Discover, and we're going to go to 10.200.3.1, Admin, and normally it'd be that nice long password. And once again, it has to be an administrator that has super user permissions. So, all right. And then it's going to go out there. It's going to reach. And hopefully it's going to discover it. Now, if it doesn't, it probably has to do with my GNS3. I did not verify the connection between the, um, between the, uh, my pseudo WAN connecting there it might not have even booted up, but, but we'll see what happens here. So, well, I'm going to let it go ahead and discover. So, uh, I'm going to just hit pause right here and just let it do its thing until I get an error message or if it goes forward, but it should not take that long. So, all right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. It'd be nice once I drop the new Forda manager to put a default gateway on the Forda manager. So that was the problem. The second I told the Forda manager how to get out, he was able to find it okay. So once again, this is the uh, this is the remote Forda gate. And because I did not have a DNAT, I had to initiate the discovery from the Forda manager that was hidden behind the the uh, the or not hidden but protected behind the local Forda gate. So and I found it. So Let's go ahead and finish this uh, video by bringing it in. So here we go. All right, we'll hit next. And it is now bringing that device into the Forda Manager, and we will be able to configure it uh, once it goes ahead and retrieves the configuration and registers it. So it just takes a little bit of a, a second. So once again, uh, the two different ways that we, we did this, in this video was one, we went to the local FortiGate and pointed to the Forta Manager. Uh, that is one way because the local FortiGate is on the same trusted network here or the same broadcast domain. All right, so we were able to reach out. But because this guy is a remote FortiGate, we went ahead and shipped that remote FortiGate with it configured with its public IP address statically and also its default gateway. <laughs> Kind of have that too, and also uh, with the FortiGuard access on the WAN facing interface, and it was able to reach out, find it. All right, and you'll see here we now have two of them. Okay, so uh, looks like I should have redone that host name, but I'm actually going to end it there now that we have two FortiGates to play with. In my next video, we are going to. Uh, figure out what it means to be synchronized, what is this auto update, what do you mean, policy package is 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 never installed, all right? Uh, and we'll we'll kind of delve deeper into what it means to centrally manage the FortiGate. So um, I'll have to do a little editing <laughs> on this video. I hope I just don't upload it like I did, so I apologize about that, guys. Um, yeah, anyways, I forgot the default gateway on the Forta Manager, so good times. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll, I'll uh, see you guys later. All right.